Welcome back to the RV Rundown, the segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm your host, Barry, and I'm standing inside a 2022 Crossroads RV Sunset Trail 299 QB. The QB stands for Quad Bunk. This is a bunkhouse floor plan built with family in mind. It has a couple of cool features, though, as in this bunkhouse has some configurations that open up for some awesome storage for the whole family. Let's check that out first. It's right behind me. Let's wander on back. Here in this back room, one thing I wanna point out before we make it in is that this does have pocket doors so they don't open up to the inside, blocking off access to any cabinetry. But here in this back bunk room, we have this super cool, versatile, floor plan. When I say versatile, what I mean is that we have these two dedicated bunks. The top one has a 300 pound maximum capacity. They're six feet and some change, about six foot two actually. So somebody who's six foot or under is going to very comfortably sh sleep on those. And then on this back wall, we have two additional sleeping spaces in the sense that we have a couch and it's a jackknife that can fold down with ease, lift up, and as a sofa with this up, there's actually a TV mounting location on the back wall here. So we could have a TV back here next to all of our storage space for the kids that have their clothes back here. So they could be back here playing games if they wanted to, or that can become a bed as you just saw. It does lay flat. And then we've got yet another bunk up above it. When all of that's up, this adds to just the overall storage because they've given us an outside access door to this back bunk room. I think that's super cool. It's an excellent use of space. And it's right next to our bathroom, which is right here. The bathroom itself is not super huge, but it does contain everything you could think you need in the sense that we've got the foot flush toilet, we've got some storage around our sink in the form of a medicine cabinet and storage down below it, and a nice shower enclosure. Across from that, a pantry, because we always need more storage space than we think we do. This is an excellent use of a kind of dead corner in this floor plan. Our main living room, again, remember we could have a TV hooked up back there, so mom and dad can be sitting in the theater seating right across from our big flat screen TV. Again, storage is the name of the game. We've got it above and below. And our control panel is right here under the TV. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't like where this control panel is, but it's what Crossroads has decided on. When this slide is all the way in, you do have to kind of lean around and hit those buttons if you don't want to squeeze in between the slide and that panel. So give or take, it's a hit or miss kind of thing. It works, it's not the best placement for it, but it's what Crossroads did, we'll live with it. Moving up into our kitchen, we see that we have our entry door. It has a couple of coat hooks up high, and then it opens up into this nice space with a very functional dinette across from our kitchen. The kitchen itself, L-shaped with covers for both our sink and our stove. That's gonna just extend that counter space, which I gotta say the solid surface is a nice touch. I really like that a lot as opposed to some kind of laminate. If something wet sits on this, it's not gonna bubble up and look gross. Storage up above, microwave, We've also got a 12 volt electric refrigerator from Norcal. This is a nice refrigerator. 12 volts are great because they have an extra bit of storage compared to our gas electric ones because they lack the cooling fins inside. Our bedroom, come on back, features a king bed. This is awesome. The king bed is huge. You can kind of walk around it. You've got a sliding door that opens up to this room. They put the traditional closet storage on either side of it. So these open up to reveal hanging areas. And then we've got shelving up above. They've pulled all of that forward so that we have nightstands with plugs on either side. So charging up your phones at the end of the evening or setting down a glass of water to drink from is easy to do. And then hiding up under the bed We've got a fair amount of, of underbed storage, as well as a station up below it where we can stash some shoes or pet bowls or a variety of other things. Now that's not it for this camper. We do want to go outside because this is equipped with a fun outside kitchen. Let's check it out. 
For an RV that's weighing in dry at 6,336 pounds, I gotta say there's a lot to offer in this floor plan. It has a lot of storage, it's set up for a lot of family, and it's quite frankly, a smart use of space. In addition to all that backroom storage, we get a great pass-through storage that's extra huge. And then stepping up in, we have the solid step entry that's become super popular within the industry lately a pet tie off that also doubles as a bottle opener. We've got a big electric awning, outside speakers, and then here at the very back, we have an outside kitchen. This is kind of smart. It has a hot point electric refrigerator off to the right there. And then if I unlatch this and give it a tug, we'll see a nice metal surface top with our big capital grill that ties into our LP system, so it's gonna light off with ease. There's a little bit of storage up in behind it, and all of this is up under our LED lit awning. So that's a great way to end the day, cooking some burgers or dogs outside on your patio, just enjoying your campsite. I think this is a super cool floor plan. You should definitely check it out in person here at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia, or check us out online at southernrv.com. You can also give us a call at 770-477-0552. And until next time, guys, as always, happy camping.